Working at the engine cover, red arrow, pull off the two front side air duct hoses, green arrows. To detach the ducts, pull them straight off the engine cover air filter housing, then pull the front of the duct out of the radiator support and remove it from the engine. Repeat this step for each duct. Lift up and remove the front engine cover. Then pull the engine cover air filter housing straight up to remove it. The cover is held on by four metal clips that grab onto rubber mounts. The front two are shown, indicated by the red arrows. The rear of the cover has two as well. Once detached, remove the engine cover air filter housing from the engine. The W211 models with a six-cylinder engine utilizes one ignition coil per cylinder, green arrows. Each ignition coil, green arrow, has two ignition wires running to the spark plugs, red arrows. Using spark plug removal pliers, remove the spark plug wires from the spark plug. If replacing the wires, use the spark plug pliers to remove the connection at the ignition coil as well. When installing new wires, the upper coil connects to the connection to the frontmost plug for that cylinder. The lower coil connections connects to the rearmost plug for that cylinder. See the link at the end of this video for more information. Using a 5 8 inch spark plug socket on a swivel extension, remove the spark plug from the cylinder head. Remove the spark plug from the cylinder head. Remove all the other spark plugs. There are 12 in total. Lightly lubricate the new spark plugs with a copper-based anti-seize. Thread the spark plug into the cylinder head by hand. This will prevent accidental cross-threading. Torque the spark plugs to 25 newton meters. Be sure to route the ignition wire as it was before. Install the engine covers and check your work. To replace an ignition coil, Disconnect the electrical connector by pressing the release tab and pulling it straight off. Then remove the T30 torque fastener, red arrow. If needed, cut the zip tie securing the wiring harness to the coil. This photo shows the coil fastener being removed. Lift the coil straight up to remove it. If you suspect a coil is faulty, you can swap the coils and wires to a different cylinder. If the problem follows the coil you moved, replace the coil or wires. This photo shows the first spark plug on the right side of the engine, cylinder 1. This is where the top wire of the first coil attaches. Note the spark plug location during the procedure. Plugs side by side are not for the same cylinder. This photo shows the second and third spark plugs on the right side of the engine, cylinder one second plug and cylinder two first plug. Note the spark plug location during the procedure. Plug side by side cannot be for the same cylinder sometimes. Each coil has numbers and letters. Use the letters on the coil and the markings on the valve cover to route new wires. The A on the coil coincides with the A on the valve cover. A is for the top ignition coil wire, B is for the lower ignition coil wire. Thanks for watching. Click here to view the original article along with hundreds of other DIY content for your car.